Hello and welcome back to Irish Chippy Channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of this uh, multimeter by Astro AI. It's the one of the, I think it's the top of the range one. Uh, it's a DM2000, uh, which is a 20,000 count uh, multimeter. I bought this myself. It wasn't sent out to me. Uh, I bought it myself for testing. And uh, so I'm going to go right through all the menus in it. I'm going to give you the size of it, the weight and everything. It is not a very common one. It is one of the more expensive ones by Astro AI. It, it comes, it has a rubber case on it that you can remove quite easily. I had it off already. It only uses two AA batteries, but you have to take it off at the back. This comes out like this. Like that, you know the way it is. I'm not going to. We will leave it on for the purposes of the video. And uh, so, what I'm going to do is I will measure it with the rubber on it because most people will leave it on from experience. Now, there's a sensor here on the front. I'm not going to measure that into this. But we are coming in at seven and one quarter inches or uh, 185 millimeters. And then on the widest pint here, we're coming in around, uh, around three and a half or uh, yeah, around three and a half or 90 millimeters. Now it is thick here because you can put your two probes here. So in the thickest pint, it's going to be just slightly over. It's going to be two and one sixteen. And it weighs 366 pint six. It's, it's almost 13 ounces. So it's less than a pound in weight. It comes with a case. Now, lots of them don't come with a case and it's annoying when they don't come with a case. Uh, I have some other one. This is a high range one by Astra AI as well. And uh, it didn't come with a case either. Um, but having said that, uh, <laughs> my, my Fluke 107 didn't come with a case either. So let's, let's get into it first, what it comes with. It comes with nice probes. Now these are much nicer probes than in the cheaper ones. I am going to give you all the spec on this. See, these ones, they, they look a lot better than the normal ones, but they are going up to 1,000 volts. They have to be up to 1,000 volts. And then it also comes with this probe. Uh, this is a temperature probe, so you can test the temperature of water or whatever. Uh, you, most people will use it uh, for, for liquids, uh, but you can, we, will, we will test it out in a minute. It comes with the manual on it, and maybe you should have a look at the manual. The manual will tell you the specifications of it. This one has got lights on all these, so when you turn it on to the different functions, uh, it will, uh, say we, we put it on here, it will light up and tell you where you put your two uh, probes. So these two are lighting up. I'll turn the light on it for you there. And if I put it here and say I go around to uh, current, it's going to tell me to go from there to there. In ultra amps, it's telling me to go there. In milliamps, it's telling me to go there and there. And in amps, of course, it's going to tell me to go over onto the 10 amp fused side. And then on the MVV, of course, there's nothing. Or on the outlet itself. So that picks up high voltages. Uh, with non-contact, non non that's what it's called. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you right around the ring and I'm going to explain everything and what buttons we can use for it. We'll put the light on it, we'll go to volts first. Now, while we're in volts, it's on DC. I'll turn the light on. So maybe you can see it better. I can see it perfect from here. There is studio lights here. So while you're in normal voltage, which uh, you can have, you can show the Hurst as well. So you can see whether it's 50 Hurst or, or, or 60. So you just put that on and then you have it in AC and it has the Hurst up there as well. Uh, so, and then back again to DC. Of course, there's no Hurst in DC, it, it's a direct current. So then we go on to the millivolts ones. It has millivolts in DC. I have, uh, um, my, my fluke doesn't do millivolts in DC. And in AC, of course, and it has the Hurst up there as well for measuring it at the same time. So we can do the Hurst just on its own here, on the next one. 
and there's no function, doesn't work on it, there's nothing on it, okay? There's a whole button as well, but... So, for the rest of it, I am going to put the leads in. Uh, the leads have a little cover on it. While, while I am doing that, this is a true RMS one now, uh, so uh, it, 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 it passes the regulation for true RMS. It's actually category four at 600 volts, and it is category three at 1000 volts. So now we have it set up, we will start doing uh, resistors and we will do some capacitors as well on the, on the next one after that. So we press function. You see there's the little sound uh, speaker here. So then we know that we are in, in, in continuity mode. So we have it in continuity mode. We can take off these uh, covers off it if we want to. You mightn't hear it there because I'm on a lavalier there, but I can hear it perfectly. And then what we're going to do, then we're going to press function again. And then, so as we see, this is for testing a diode and I don't have diodes there. It should uh, come out to uh, zero. Yeah, that's fine. So that's working. So we go on the next one and the next one is uh, measuring uh, for a resistor. Now I have some resistors here and uh, it's auto ranging, so it's going 0.47, uh, 0.47 mega ohms, which is 470,000 uh, kilo ohms. So that is correct. It goes all the way up to 100 me uh, mega ohms uh, from from um, 200 ohm. So 200 ohm is very, 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 very small. We're going to we'll go on to capacitor. So because a capacitor. When you're checking your capacitor, it sends a volt through the capacitor. So I am going to get myself a, a capacitor here. And uh, we are going to test the capacitor. It's a, it's a 33 uh, microfarad uh, capacitor. And it's coming in at 34. That's okay. So we will do another one here that is 22 and we'll see what it gives us for our 22. It's giving us only 21. Okay, so that means that the capacitors are off uh, by a, a little bit. By. Next, what we're going to go on to is we're going to go on to a uh, temperature and we will take these two probes out for the temperature and we will put in our temperature probe. And I have it on Celsius, and it's giving the temperature of my skin at 29.9, and it's also given it here in Fahrenheit. Can you see it up there on the top? And I'll put this. In there. It's given the Fahrenheit up on the top, so I'm 30 degrees. Is my skin? Next one I'm going to go on to is a, is a micro mi micro amps. We're testing current. We go to there, and it's flashing here and here. So what we do for micro amps, micro amps is like a U, like the U you, you have in microfarad. You know, the, it's not really a U, it has a stroke. And then we go to milliamps and it's the same too, right? Because that's the fuse that we're using, okay? And then we will put it onto normal amps for electricity. And we can change either, either of those uh, to, uh, from AC to DC, and the, the AC also does the Hearst as well. And then when we put it over the full amps, it's telling me to put this into the one with the 10 amp fuse because we're going to be using 10 amps. We're going to be going up to 10 amps. And that one all, also goes from uh, uh, AC with, with the Hearst as well. Oh, I forgot to tell you, there's a flashlight on it as well. Uh, by holding down this button, we have a, a flashlight. See, not very bright, but it's good for reading or something like that. And my uh, review on the Astro AI, a uh, DM2000, and 20,000 counts, 1,000 volts, uh, through RMS. Uh, it, is, uh, it is not cheap like the other Astro ones, but uh, it's... Uh, it's a, a lot cheaper than some of, uh, say, uh, the same equivalent of Fluke or some of the other brands. And uh, lights is very handy for to stop you making mistake when you are doing the current, especially doing the current.
Overall, I am very, very happy with this. Uh, I didn't expect it to be so good. Considering it's a true RMS and it is a category four up to 600 volts, I would consider this great, great value. Great screen on it, very easy to read. It's got lots of different stuff and it tells you all your functions as you are pressing them. So, thank you very, very much for watching and uh, I'll see you all again soon.